National Diabetes Awareness Day is on Thursday, November 14th, but diabetes is recognized throughout the entire month. This November, Beaver Local would like to spotlight our diabetic students and their experience with the condition. All right, so what are your guys' names? My name is Oriana. My name is Jace Ingram. My name is Sophia Smith. My name is Isaac Bean. I'm Sydney McNair. Uh, hello, Beaver Local Media. I'm Zane Elick. And how old are you guys? I'm nine years old. Nine. So how old were you when you were diagnosed? I was four years old. 18 months year old. I'm a junior and I've been diabetic for 11 years this year. I'm a sophomore and I was diagnosed when I was eight years old. I'm a junior in high school. What age were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed at seven years old. Um, I'm 17. Um, I was diagnosed May 27th of 2022. Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects how the body uses food for energy. It happens when your body doesn't make enough insulin or can't use it well. That's why you might see people with diabetes giving themselves more insulin. Low insulin causes high levels of glucose in your blood. It's like having too much sugar in your blood. So, do you have a story or do you remember when you were diagnosed? Um, I kind of do. I know that we went into my doctor's because my mom had just came back from the doctor's and then she noticed I was taking a nap and I didn't normally take a nap at that age. And she saw that and she just rushed me to my doctor's and my doctor's was like, she has diabetes, so go to the hospital. And my mom said that if we were like one minute, like if it was, our house was one minute farther, I would have been in a helicopter. So my mom took me to the hospital because I wouldn't eat or drink. And the doctor said something, so I went back home and then they called us. And we went to this doctor's and they took me on a helicopter to a different doctor's. I just was getting really sick. I was drinking a lot of water and because of that I'd use the bathroom a lot and I would end up throwing up. Um, but my dad is a diabetic as well. So he recognized my symptoms and we went to the hospital where they rushed me to Akron and voila, I was diagnosed as diabetic. So when I was first diagnosed, I had to stay in the hospital for a few days. Um, I remember there was this little like, there was this room that had a bunch of toys and stuff in it. And my last day at the hospital, me and my dad went into this room just to check it out. And they had a, uh, an old Xbox there. And I remember me and my dad were um, playing Halo 2 as a game. And I kept begging my dad to buy me this Xbox, but he never did. And I get to the hospital and the dude checks my blood sugar and I'm at like 500. He's like, dude, this is bad. And I'm like, oh, so when can I go back to school? And he's like, you're going to stay at the hospital for like three days. And um, I don't know, I found out I had diabetes. I also threw up in the stairwell, but I don't like talking about that. Diabetes is contagious. No, that is not true. It's a disease instead. There's a myth that diabetics can't eat sugar, specifically candy, uh, which is not true because you need candy to live. <laughs> you can eat candy. So every time I'm eating, like a sucker or a Snickers. Just let me be. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> I'll be okay. Something I don't like is uh, my, my thing will go off because it's beeping and it'll either be, like I'm not even low or nothing. It'll just be like, oh, my sensor's done or sensor messed up or whatever. And it'll beep really loud and everybody, first, first answer is, are you dying? Really? I'm not. One common myth about diabetes is that insulin is a cure, which it definitely is not. It is necessary. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Is it true that kids with a diabetes can't play sports? No. I mean, yes. I mean, no. I don't know what this, how to say it. Kids can play sports with diabetes. A myth about diabetes is all types of diabetes are the same. This isn't true because there are two different types. 
Type 1 is an autoimmune disease, so something triggers it in your body. And type 2, um, type 2 is caused by, it could be caused by overeating, too much sugar. Type 2 diabetes can go away. So you can go on a diet to get rid of it. You can improve your type 2 diabetes. But type 1, it's, there's no cure for it yet. Have it forever until you're 99. They're both very different. Now they're going to share their devices. So you don't have yours on, right? Do you know what device you use? I use either my Dexcom or my phone. Okay, and then he's going to show you his. I use a phone and an Omnipod. I put in the code and it tells me how much units I have and I can scroll over and I see my number and this is where I put in my stuff to get dosed. For my devices that I have, I, ha I use a, a Dexcom G7 which is a CGM or continuous glucose monitor. Checks how much sugar is in my blood all the time um, and I take injections of insulin through pens, but other people might have pumps or other devices. All right. What device do you use? I have an Omnipod 5 and a Dexcom G6. Oops. I'm not taking my shirt off to show you the right. Do I have to? So I use an insulin pump. I use a Tandem Moby, which is a new study of insulin pumps, and it is amazing. And then I also use a Dexcom, which reads all my blood sugars and stuff. Um, one's a pump and one's a Dexcom. Um, one gives me insulin and one tells me what my sugars are. Okay, so I have a Dexcom, which reads, my, reads the sugar in my blood. And I have a Omnipod, which gives me my insulin, which is my medicine. They can communicate with each other. So, like, whenever I'm going, whenever my blood sugar is really high, my Omnipod can automatically give me a correction to bring down that high. And when my sugar's low, it can, I can go into the Omnipod, uh, ugh, Omnipod app and adjust my insulin so I can go back up. So did you guys know that you have to be really good at math if you're a diabetic? Yes, because you have to know division, multiplication, adding, subtraction, because you got to add the carbs and you got to divide by however much you do. Um, sometimes you got to multiply um, like many numbers if you need to know something. And then if you accidentally do something wrong, then you have to subtract. So a common misconception is that diabetes is not serious, which I would like to argue. I believe it is serious. There's definitely worse like diseases slash disorders you could have, but I feel like it's important to maintain a good blood sugar and keep like your ranges in check. Because if not, you can go into like ketoacidosis. I don't know, I, I feel like it's more serious than people would like to think. If there was one thing that I would want kids to know about diabetes is it's definitely a roller coaster in life. It's a struggle, but there's so many people around you that are willing to help you and be there for you. So you can get through it. And it's like the same thing having diabetes with like stuff on your stomach or on the side of your arms or wherever you put it. Don't eat too much candy. I want to thank the media team for making this great video. We really wanted to have something special in honor of National Diabetes Awareness Month, and I really thank them for helping spread some awareness about this condition. We are so proud of all of our students here at Beaver Local, but this was just a little shout out to our type one diabetics because they really do have a lot of responsibility, and some of them are coming down to the clinic five or six times a day to see us. And we want you to know we are so proud of you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>